So we've just bought a property here in Fethiye in Turkey and it needs completely renovating. So in this program, we're going to take you on our journey doing it up. So welcome to part three of doing it up in Turkey. Let's just recap on what we achieved in part two. We opened up the terrace, put the water piping in the upstairs bathroom, got the mains electric cables in, finished off the terrace tiles, and Trudy painted the terrace and quite a bit of herself. We got the new terrace glass sliding door in, and insulated the inside of the bathroom walls ready for plasterboarding and tiling. Then we went to the UK for over two months to see family but now we're back so let's see what we've achieved since our return. First off I needed some more wood for lowering the roof so off we went to find a wood supplier. So we found a wood place in the Sanaya, that's the you know industrial estate. I want 15 pieces two meters long and they're 40 lira each piece but he says they're going to charge us 200 lira to take them to Chalish so we've decided we're going to put them in the car. Kabuk istemiyorum dedim. That means I don't want the ones with the bark on. Like this one look, look see. No, I don't want if the renter car people, Pegasus, are still watching this, I'm sorry and I'll definitely clean the car afterwards. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm sending this in Nida. Tuna Han. Tuna Han. Tuna Han. I'll never remember his name. I have to call him Tuna. I think I'll just stand here for a little bit while Trudy takes all the pieces. What do you think, Lovey? What did you say? Nothing. <laughs> Somebody's doing all the work, I see. Yeah, well, I'm talking. You're doing your work in your jewel. So this wood is kavak, or kavak arja, and it's what we would call poplar. And they use it for building stuff like roofing, and if you want the thin pieces like the chitter, the laths for roofing, are usually made out of kavak. It's quite flexible wood, but it's usually quite wet, and it, and it, goes, it goes out of shape if it's left in the sun. And it's the cheapest wood. Obviously furniture, you want oak, which is uh, mesha, or jevis, which is walnut. I like jevis. I know you do. You like eating them, don't you? <laughs> so we decided that this skylight was a little bit surplus to requirements. So I've taken the wood panelling off, off around it, and actually a big surprise, which is good, is underneath this wood is insulated. So that's a bonus. So we're going to put a few rafters across here to hold up the plasterboard. And I've laser lined this and I've already put this piece, fastened it to the wall. So all you've got to do is measure the pieces. So, so I'm doing the stud walling, but this stud walling will be for the shower cubicle, which is there. And you can see I've, we've insulated the ceiling as well, ready for the plasterboard to go on. So I'm just finishing off putting a piece in. 
stood walling. It wasn't very popular years ago with, in Turkey because you couldn't get plasterboard, what they call al Alçapanduvara. But it's become more popular now. I'm painting this a, a, a white, a rustic white, to do a bit of upcycling. <laughs> So it's 38 degrees, I'm really fed up of trying to work in the heat in our apartment, so we've come to get an aircon unit, what they call a clima. So we come in this shop, this is the Beko shop, and the reason we've come into Beko is we've already got some air conditioning units at home, and one of them is really quiet, so we're going to get exactly the same model because it's a really quiet one, and, um, and it's an inverter model, a top quality one. So this is the one. So we've decided to have that one that we've just been looking at and uh, it's £500 but that includes the installation and we're going to pay it with our credit card. You do accept credit card, of don't course, you? Of course, of course we accept it. What are you doing? I've just added this to the bill because um, the one we have at home makes such a racket that this one apparently is silent. And as I drink water like a fish I thought it would be a good Does idea. Do you know what it is? Yes, it's a water cooling. Um, so what's the difference between that one and the one we've got? The water bottle is, oops, look, easily put in and out of there. Okay. So we're having that, are we? That's coming with us. <laughs> <laughs> we only come for an air conditioning unit. I, I won't show you the price. So I got the lads to do the insulation of the outside walls and put all the plasterboard on. So he's doing a bit of plastering. Mm -hmm. This is Alçı in Turkish, tell me. Alçı. Alçı. Alçı yapıyor. He does a slightly different technique to what they use in the UK, of course, when we do our plastering. They don't seem to use a hawk like we do. Kaç kat koyacaksınız bunun? Üç. Üç kat olacak. So it's going to be three coats of that. You can see we've got all the plasterboard on now, nearly all of it. Just left a couple of spaces so that we can do the electrics for the spotlights. Um, and then it's almost ready to, to paint up. So these are exciting times now because now as you can see we've done all the stud walling uh, that we need and we've plasterboarded it all up. The outside walls are all insulated, the ceiling's been done and all we're waiting for now is the tile guy. And then all the tiling will be started. I have decided personally to do the little what they call the niche. The niche. The niches are these little areas which are going to have lights in and because they've got lights in and we're not quite sure how they're going to be I'm actually going to do that myself. So these are all the tiles that we bought in the DIY shop and all the cement to put them in with and the death or fuga as it's called what we would call the grouting. If the tiles had been smaller I would have done it myself but because they're 120 by 60 centimeters wide um, if you want to cut them lengthways, you need a massive machine, which is quite expensive. Well, that's what you call making a hole. Is that it then? We're through to the other house now. This is progress. <laughs> well, we haven't decided on the colour, so I'm just basically giving it a white base coat. That's the other thing. I always get landed with the painting. That's why you're wearing white, isn't yeah. it? It goes with the white paint. Yeah, so if you splatter yourself, it don't really show, does it? No, so when we go out to dinner later, it won't notice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's often how you are, lovely. Yeah, in between ordering stuff for building work, you've got to eat. It's called a lunch break. Stuffed calamari with goat's cheese. Just grilled. grilled baby but, calamari. But the grilling, the, you've got that char grilled taste to them and it's lovely. Mm. 
Nasıl gidiyor usta? Çok güzel, çok güzel, mükemmel. Very good. Hey, hey. You know, it's difficult to find a, a guy that does tiling that is a real professional like this guy. This is Aydın. He's worked at so many places all over Turkey. Aydın doesn't just do great tiling, he also plays traditional Turkish music for us. So we thought we'd have a bit of a break from the renovation work and we've come here to this beautiful city, the city of Konya. So don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our Konya film. Thanks, thanks for, for watching! watching.